on June 11, 2019, Hypixel released their new game called Skyblock. It wasn't like the vanilla Skyblock and had many twists built into it. It was like the most revolutionary game ever released and took the Minecraft MMORPG genre by a storm. On July 6th, I bought my first game which was Minecraft. And the first thing I did was log on to Hypixel and misclick onto the Skyblock logo. And my curiosity got the best of me and I told to myself, eh, why not try it out? When I first joined the game, and I shit you not, I got hooked in 0.3 seconds. I've never played an MMORPG game before, but Skyblock just felt different. Then there was this thing called COVID-19. It started to spread like a wildfire, and my grandma's PC couldn't run anything else rather than Minecraft. And I didn't even need anything else. Skyblock was so fun for me. I made friends like Spiral, Zeno, Iman, Defont, Global, and countless others. The first thing I would do is wake up and play the game 13 hours a day. Because our city got into lockdown and I basically couldn't do anything rather than just sit in front of my PC and game. But those 13 hours were the funniest hours of my life. We would fish and would say f Someone got an emperor. Good times back then. The end of that was even more fun. Literally so many things were added and the concept of earning money, increasing skills got addictive. I remembered there was a little race in the boys on who can get superior dragon armor first. Of course I got it last but that's off topic. This game would reward you for the time you spent for it. It had its own distinctive smell in it. It felt different back then. Then it was completely dried. There were some quality of life updates here and there but nowhere close to the end update. The game went 8 months without a huge update and kept giving teasers for this revolutionary update called the dungeons. And finally, on July 7th, 2020, it was released. To be honest, it was overhyped. I mean, yes, it was fun, but so many things were added at once, it kinda ruined the OG-ness. It was like a completely new system and there were so many OP new items. Yes, it was fun using those items, but only for like a few weeks. And then it started to get boring. Before, if anyone could kill a Revenant tier 4, they would be considered endgame. Nowadays, you can literally kill a Revenant in less than one hour of creating a new profile. The part of challenge is basically gone. Also to mention that so many OP things were added even after the dungeons update, like the Juju shortbow, Terminator, etc. Dying basically became impossible. And hey, if you're liking the video so far, consider subscribing, it would mean a lot. Before the game was based on effort, now it's mostly based on RNG. In OG Skyblock, you could slowly grind your way towards the best armor set. Nowadays, you can only say the best non-RNG way to grind money is mining. But even a good mining gear costs a good chunk of money and where do you get that money from? And don't even get me started about Iron Man players. To be honest, the RNG meter was the greatest idea ever. I would wonder why doesn't it exist on other things like dungeons for example. Well currently, I don't get the same feeling as I used to get while playing Skyblock. Most of my friends have already quitted Skyblock, which also has played a huge role in me not liking the game anymore. At the end, Skyblock is an evolving MMORPG which needs updates in order to survive. But those updates can change the core meaning of the original Skyblock. And then at the end, it all started with... I think Skyblock at its core is the ultimate challenge in resource management. You spawn on a tiny island in an empty universe. All you have is a tree, some supplies, and some dirt to stand on. You have to treasure every dirt block because if one falls into the void, there's no way to replace it. And as you carefully navigate your absurd circumstance, you gain a new appreciation for the few things you have as you meticulously use them to their fullest effect. With nothing but some ice, lava, and saplings, you slowly transform this empty expanse into a world of your very own. Skyblock teaches us that no matter how ridiculous the odds may seem, within us resides the power to overcome these challenges and achieve something beautiful. That one day, we'll look back at where we started and be amazed by how far we've come.